What up, gang? Elaine Caroline, Jackpot Time coming at you on Monday morning. I hope everybody's having a good one. Good start to your work week. Nasty weather here to start the day, but it seems to have cleared off a little bit. Big news out of Columbia, South Carolina. Gamecocks athletic director Ray Tanner and the board of trustees have went on ahead and parted ways with head baseball coach Mark Kingston. Caroline Jackpot knew this was coming. The fan base knew it was coming. My podcast partner, Rob Sanders, said that he felt like he would be retained. Uh, he was not. Uh, they made, I mean, they were ready to get rid of this guy. Definitely had his head on the chopping block and um, you know, fired him one day after the season ended yesterday in the wettest of wet fart ways, a 2 nothing loss to James Madison in the NCAA Regional in Raleigh, where South Carolina was a number two seed. Guy's been there for seven years with us, uh, has a losing record in SEC play. He's uh, around around 400 or so in SEC, which kind of surprised me that he was that good. He went uh, a few seasons ago without winning an SEC series, period. So, look, I don't like to see coaches get fired. Everybody is probably thinking that I'm jumping up and down, dancing, and just the happiest person alive today because Mark Kingston got fired. That's not totally true. I don't want to see any of these coaches fail because it means the program failed, because it means we produced a shitty product and we had shitty teams. Now, I'm not glad that he got fired, but I'm glad that they have decided to move on, make a change, and recommit to the excellence that was once this baseball program. Because you you have fallen so far from what you were from 2010 through 2012 that you can't you can't even see it anymore. These teams are not even recognizable uh, compared to the ones that you had at one point in time. South Carolina's had uh, the ability to get good talent in. They've gotten good talent in, and they've squandered it. Uh, they've had piss poor assistant coaching hires. I mean, they can't even they couldn't even run the fucking bases correctly yesterday. I mean, how? I mean, we're we're in June. We're in June. We've been playing since February. And I think there's like a misnomer that when they come in that everybody from high school automatically knows what they're doing and how to transition to the college game. No, no, no. They've got to be coached up. You weren't coaching them up. And certainly uh, your right-hand man, mediocre Monty, who couldn't make it at Clemson, was not coaching them up either. So I'm sure he's not going to be retained. Probably will be the entire staff getting overhauled. Who do I want to see them bring in as coach? I want to see a proven winner. I want I, I want a big name. I want to see them drop some money and bring a big name in. Because I think one of the reasons why they went on ahead and made this move, despite Kingston having what, three years, I think, left on his contract, is that the fan base is totally apathetic at this point. And attendance next year at Founders Park would be absolutely dreadful. Uh, if they decided to bring him back and he starts producing the kind of teams that he's been producing, you know, I mean, I'm, I guess they're thinking, I mean, is that loss of what's going to be worse, that loss of revenue or just going on ahead and firing him, buying him out and see if he settles for a reduction and buy out and then bring in someone who's a proven winner. They need to spend some money on this freaking baseball program because that freaking baseball program bought them a lot of things over the years. I mean, that that really uh, puts you uh, on the map. What are you doing? It's a four-way stop, you idiot. Go. You're going straight. God, I can't stand stupid people driving, man. South Carolina drivers, half the time, they just, just drive like shit. They drive like shit. They don't know how to treat a four-way stop. How do you not know how to treat a four-way stop? Take your turns. Do, do, do. And if you both are going straight, you can both go at the same time. I want to see a big name brought in. A lot of people were talking to Landon Powell, the coach from North Greenville, former Gamecock player. Look, he's done some real good things at North Greenville. That's a Division II school. I mean, I don't know what the situation was when Landon Powell took over at North Greenville. I don't know if they were in the shitter and he resurrected them, or I don't know if he took over for a coach that was really good that took a job somewhere else. 
but I don't know that he's going to be your guy to resurrect an SEC program that was really, really successful for a long period there and has kind of hit the skids of late and, and needs a culture change, needs a morale boost. I just don't know if he's been coaching long enough to have acquired the skills to be able to do that. No offense. So I would really like to see them go after someone a bit more proven. Um, got good ball, good little good baseball coaches at Duke, good baseball coaches at Wake Forest, both teams in the Carolinas uh, that I think South Carolina could get. They could offer substantially more money to that they could get in. Um, would we want to go the Coastal Carolina route? I don't know. Um, but one thing I knew though, they've got to get their program leveled up. They've got to spend money. Georgia spent money to get a good baseball coach, and they've elevated their game. They were a terrible program, and they've been doing okay. I believe they won their regional. And uh, Kentucky, same thing. Terrible program that uh, brought in a good coach, changed the culture, spent money. They've elevated their game up a little bit. Same thing at Clemson. They're going to the Super Regionals for the first time, I think, since 2012. You can you it's it's absolutely deplorable that he has allowed that Clemson program to become better at South Carolina right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now, South Carolina's gonna bring somebody in, and that that's the first thing that's gonna get leveled up. South Carolina's gonna be on par and or better than Clemson within the next two years. Mark it down. South Carolina is a destination school for baseball players. Clemson, not so much. It's just a, a little shithole tucked over in the corner of the state that I wish we could either put a wall around A or give to Georgia B. Probably neither one of those are gonna happen. But Mark Kingston out at the University of South Carolina. You know, once again, never like to see someone get fired because it means you weren't successful, but it has happened. And I hope that they, no pun intended, get themselves a home run hire. I'll see you guys later on. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Click the like button on this if you enjoyed the content that you saw here today. I'll see you folks later on. Appreciate it. Go Gamecocks. Peace. Catch you on the next.